What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Casters Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel as always. So, today for y'all, I have a good one. I have an early review and I've been telling y'all I have a couple of them on the way. I got one shoe in today. Hopefully they start coming in over the next couple days so I can drop these videos for y'all. But, like I mentioned, I do have an early review for, early review for y'all today. I could not get that out. So, um, what I have for y'all today is... The Air Jordan 12 A Mama Nier. This is the black version of the Jordan 12. Of course, there is another version that's set to drop later this year. Uh, but as of right now, I just have the black pair, um, which is the woman's release for the Jordan 12 A Mama Nier. Now, before we jump into the video, I do want to give a really quick shout out to my guys, Perfect Fit Kicks and Kamikaze Kicks on Instagram. If y'all need a good group to join that can get you early pairs, go hit them up on Instagram. Let, let them know I sent you to join the group. It's a great group. You can get some great heat for early and and a good price. So tap in with them. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this review. And then, of course, at the end of the video, a quick daily lace up. We got two really, 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 I want to say important updates for shoes that are set to drop this year. So I will tell you all um, what those were after the review. So starting off with the box now, uh, just like all the other A Mama Nears, they do come in a little sleeve. So the box comes in the sleeve. Now, the difference with this sleeve is that the A Mamanier branding on here is actually black and I believe it's been like a clear A or, or like a white A on um, this sleeve but now it's black. So I do like that they change up on this one. I think the black actually looks really good on these too. Uh, too. So I think they did a good job with this one. Now moving to the box. So this is a regular Jordan 12 box. Um, the same normal one except this one you do have some A Mamanier branding on here. Um, so you see a mama near right there and then outside of that everything else is pretty much the same um, The same Jordan box and then that's the bottom right there All right moving to the label the label reads women's air Jordan 12 retro SP the colorway is black black burgundy crush This is a women's 12 or men's 10 and a half retail price on these is 225 I don't know the exact release date on these I I don't want to give y'all a date. Um, if I find it, I'll put it in the comments. But um, I know it's coming up at some point in the next couple months. Now, moving to the inside of the box. Uh, so, I'm going to start with the paper. So, this is the same paper that we've seen with the other A Mamanier shoes. You have the A Mamanier branding on the paper. And then you do have an additional, like, wax piece of paper right here as well. And then moving on from the paper. Y'all know the A Mamanier box, they have a, it's, it's some detail always on the inside of the lid, and that does not change here. Of course, you do see the graphic of uh, Michael Jordan there. You do see the A Mamanier branding as well. And I believe he has on a pair, it uh, looks like a pair of Jordan 12s. It's hard to tell up close, um, but those are the shoes he has on right there. And then these do come with a green sticker on the box as well, if, you, if you're curious to know. And the entire entire inside of the box is black as well. But that green sticker is on the inside if you're curious or if you're potentially purchasing a pair, make sure it has that green sticker on the inside of the shoe. Now moving to the shoe. This is once again the A Mamanier Air Jordan 12. These are very interesting and and I have to give y'all my opinion on these after I get done going through the entire shoe. Um, I think I have mixed feelings on this one, but I will tell y'all why in just a little bit. So starting off with the outsole, you do see the hints of white on here, that burgundy crush color as well. And then you do have that carbon uh, carbon fiber plate right here in the middle of the shoe. Let's see if you can see that burgundy there. Of course, you do have the white Jordan Jumpman logo at the front of the outsole, and it does carry up into the midsole there. Now moving to the midsole, you do have more of that burgundy color. It's that burgundy crush, and that wraps all the way around. You see here, you do see part of that carbon fiber plate coming up right in here in the grooves here. And then you just continue on towards the front, you see more of um, the burgundy crush. Of course, there's the other part of that Jordan Jumpman coming up into the uh, toe of the shoe. And then just continuing around and then back towards this side, of course, you do see uh, black pieces right here as well. And then on the back side of the angle, you do see the 2 3 in black as well. Now, moving up to uh, the midsole and the mud guard. So, we're going to start at the mud guard. Um, and so, the mud guard is a pre worn suede. So let me get it. There we go. So, it is a suede on the mud guard there in that burgundy crush colorway. It honestly feels pretty good. It's pretty soft. I do like um, the feeling that it gives off. 
And then going up to the actual upper portion of the shoe and the black or the all black on here, that entire black upper is nubuck. So you do have a mixture of suede and nubuck on here. Now, I can go ahead and tell y'all why I'm iffy on this shoe and not 100% sold on it. Like, I would get this shoe just because I have the other a Mamanier shoes. But the reason I'm just kind of like iffy on this shoe is how the nubuck looks. And to me, it just looks like it's kind of like patchy in some places. Like, some uh, pieces of the nubuck look lighter. Some look a little darker. And I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera to where y'all can see it. Um, but, like, even there, you can see how it's different shades and different portions. And maybe I just need to, like, brush the nubuck or move it around or whatever. But just when I opened the box, that's the first thing I noticed. Which means it's something that will happen as you wear the shoe. So, I'd be curious to wear and tear on the shoe. Like, the more you wear it, how will the nubuck hold up? Um, will it continue to look look like that or will if you like smooth it over will it look a little bit better? I'm not really sure uh, But I do like the colorway on here the black and burgundy I think does go really well together It is a different vibe of a colorway a different touch on the colorway But one that I still do like myself will I like I mentioned will I try to cop these probably so just because I already have the other pairs and I just want to continue the collection and I mean it's a Jordan 12 I wear them when I get the chance to, and this one is not bad at all. Um, of course, you do see the Jumpman branding, which we see on a lot of the Jordan, all the Jordan 12s right there. All right, so let's move up to the laces. So around the lace holes, you do have metallic, uh, late metallic, like metal lace holes here. Um, you do have the Jordan branding on there and the A Mamanier branding on there as well. So there's the Jordan logo right here, and then you do see the A Mamanier branding right there as well. That's on both sides of the shoe. Let me get the focus there. Yep, so that's on both sides of the shoe right there. And then these do come with black laces. They're already in the shoe. I don't believe they have any additional laces. So just uh, black laces with these. And honestly, I think for me that is okay. I don't have any issues with the black laces on here. Uh, no special aglets or, or lace tips on here. Let me get to focus. Get off my face. Um, yeah, no special lace tips. Sorry if it's not focusing. Come on. There we go. Yeah, just regular lace tips, plastic lace tips, which is honestly kind of surprising, um, but I guess at the same time, not that big of a deal. Uh, so yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then continuing on towards the back of the shoe, so on the back here, um, you do have more A Mamanier branding, and that just says A Mamanier with the Jordan Jumpman at the top there. And it reads, uh, quality products inspired by culture on this one. There is something different on the other shoe, but I will show you all that when we get to it. Alright, now going to the inside of the shoe, so these do continue with the theme of the quilted sock liner on these, and as you see, it is a black quilted sock liner on this one. It does feel pretty good. It, it feels like it would be comfortable, um, so I think it would be. Oh, I forgot one thing on that side, the tongue. Uh, so on this one, this is the right shoe. Uh, the tongue does have the black Jordan Jumpman. Alright, so that is, I think, everything with this shoe. Let me see if I can read the tag for y'all. I may not be able to. Uh, let's see. Alright, the production on here is April 27, 2022 to August 19, 2022. Um, so earlier last year. I believe these were supposed to release last year, but they ended up getting pushed back. Um, so, yeah, now we're getting them this year. So, inside of the shoe also, uh, paper shoe tree. And then these are the insoles. You do have that white Jordan Jumpman and then that burgundy colored insole. I like the detail on this insole as well. I'm glad it doesn't have that quilted type of insole like it did with the Air Jordan 4 a Mamanier. I just, I wasn't too much of a fan of those, but I do like how these look. Alright, and then jumping to the other shoe, uh, real quick, you do have the hang tag here. And it is, this is the same hang tag we saw with the Jordan uh, 2 a Mamanier. So we have that. And then the other thing is the branding, which is on the back of the shoe, like I mentioned. This one has Jordan on the back. And instead of products inspired by culture like this on the other shoe, this one says quality inspired by the greatest player ever, which is the normal uh, saying that we get on the back of the Jordan, Jordan 12s. Um, and then also the other difference on here is the tongue tag, or the tongue. This one has the A Mamanier branding on this shoe instead of the Jordan Jumpman branding. So I like how they did that. This one says Jordan, but it has the A Mamanier branding, while this one has the Jordan Jumpman on the tongue and has the A Mamanier branding on the backside. So I like how they switched it up just to give it a little bit of a different touch. But I'll go ahead and give you all a quick 360 on this shoe. This is the other shoe, just so y'all have a look at it. 
But let me know how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 12 and my Manier. This is, once again, the women's version. This is the black version. How are y'all feeling about these? This is a must cop. Is it a pass? Like I mentioned, to me, it's not like a 100% must cop, but I will still end up trying to get them and probably will end up getting them just to continue the collection going. I love the story that Amon Manier has behind their shoes. Um, as we get closer to this release date, I'd be curious to see just what the story is behind this one as well. Well, once I know it, I'll probably talk about it in one of my videos. But, yeah, they do a great job with their shoes. And this one continues on with that one. Um, just This one is a woman's version, but they should have extended sizes in them. So, if you're a bigger size, then you should have the opportunity to cop them. But, yeah. So, that is true. Once again, let me know how I feel about them. Let's cop pass. What are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 12 Amon Manier? Uh, this is the black version once again. Now, jumping to the quick daily let's up over the two really, really important updates that we got. Um, so one was a uh, update on a shoe that is set to drop. The other was an update over the DMP 11s that are set to drop this holiday, um, which of course is the holiday 11 for the year. So starting off with the DMP 11s. Now, like I mentioned, they are set to drop in, as mentioned in my last video or whatever video I talked about the DMP 11s dropping. Um, they are set to release in December. Now, the update we got on that shoe is instead of mesh on that shoe, the DMP 11s are actually supposed to be leather. So, I'm very curious to see how these look in person now. I, we haven't seen a leather 11 in a minute. I, I couldn't tell you the last time we got a leather 11 off the top of my head. Um, but I'd be very curious to see uh, how this shoe looks in person and how sneakerheads will react to having a leather 11 dropping this year so if you if you have your thoughts on it already let me know in the comments for me i just need to see the shoe in person to see how it looks i don't think it'll be that big of a deal for me but you know just got to see the person to get an idea and then second news that we got from z sneakerheads today is we're getting the air jordan one satin breads and those are set to release holiday 2023 as well i will put up a picture so y'all can see what that shoe looks like but it is black and red and, but it is, unfortunately, a women's exclusive, which and I don't believe they will have extended sizes in these. So the biggest will probably be a 12 in women's or 10 and a half in men, which for me is unfortunate because I won't be able to cop these. But those are set to drop this year. Uh, the picture that I put up is a mock-up. There may be some slight changes on that, but that is kind of similar to what the shoe will look like. But those are the two updates that I had. So let me know how I feel about the DMP 11s having leather instead of mesh and then let me know how you feel about the um, Air Jordan 1 satin bread dropping as well. As always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping and going. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, turn the all notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. Like I mentioned, I will have some more early reviews on the way whenever I get them. I will drop the video for y'all ASAP. But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping. Enjoy the rest of y'all week or enjoy y'all Friday and weekend and I'll catch y'all in the next video.